NTAG Southwest. So we're going to go on to our next presenter, which is Chief Arnold. He's going to be presenting the ROT scholarships in regards of um, the timing when you guys should apply for them. For your juniors and seniors, this um, what he's going to be talking about for the colleges, I highly recommend you know you look into it now, especially if you are trying to go to college. For my freshmen and sophomores, this is the time to listen to take the notes because if college is something you want to do and eventually go into the military, this is a program where the earlier you start, the better off you are. My name is Chief Petty Officer Arnold. I've been in the Navy for 16 years as of last month. I've been stationed in Virginia uh, for about four years out there. So I deployed to the Med and to Western Africa and Eastern Africa, uh, deployed to Fifth Fleet, which is the Persian Gulf. Um, after that, I was stationed in Italy for four years. I uh, got to experience immersion with another culture, which was just a phenomenal experience that I highly recommend. Um, and then at that point, I was in, uh, I've been out here in San Diego for eight years. I've been on three ships. Uh, so I deployed with a lot of Marines. I didn't tell you that before, but all my deployments have been uh, amphib deployments. So with the exception of, I did a small one on a frigate for a little while. Um, let's see. Chief, I'm more. sorry, but I have to ask, how was your deployment being with the Marines since our ROTC pro, uh, coordinator is a prior um, officer Marine? So I do want to ask. I, I absolutely uh, enjoyed my time with the Marines. Um, you know, they would come on board and they obviously have a different mission than us, uh, but they would come on board. They were professional and courteous. And um, the the exception to the rule was uh, was a, a misbehaving Marine. For the most part, I found them to be very pleasant to work with. They're NCO staff were extremely competent, uh, and and I I enjoyed uh, breaking bread with them. They were they were my brothers and sisters in arms, so I, I always enjoyed it. Uh, feeling feeling is mutual, uh, Chief. Uh, I had the uh, pleasure of being uh, CEO with troops on a couple of ships, and I dealt mostly with the uh, ship's executive officer. Uh, but uh, we uh, always had uh, good relations with the Navy. We understand that while on a ship, the Navy's working. There's not much that we can do until we get to our destination, but uh, uh, we helped out in any way we can. We always had a good relationship with the Navy uh, when we were on board ship. Excellent. And if I may jump in as well, I just want to say when I was in Korea, I had uh, analysts, intel analysts from all the different services, soft spot, love the Marine analysts. Whatever you ask them to do, they didn't push back, they didn't whine, they didn't complain. Yes, chief. Yes, senior chief. And they did the best they could, and they did excellent work. So, hey, Absolutely. Marines. I salute you. All right. So what, uh, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, specifically our NROTC scholarship um, and how I can help put you guys through college, right? And how you can help yourself put yourself through college. So what we offer is up to $200,000 uh, in tuition. So um, what that means is that if you get accepted into this program, you don't have to worry about paying for school. We pay that money directly to the, to the college. Uh, it doesn't, you don't see it. Um, it just shows up. It just shows up and you just show up. You go to school. You also get a monthly stipend. It's $250 for freshmen. And then it moves up $50 every year uh, to cap out at $400 whenever you're a senior. This is not just a California program. We have 166 different schools nationwide. You don't have to worry about the in-state or out-of-state tuition. Uh, that's not something that you have to concern yourself with. You just have to get accepted to the school and get accepted into our program. And you are guaranteed a job whenever you graduate. So none of the stuff where you get out with your degree and then, um, you know, sit around for a few years filling out resumes. We're, we're going to put you to work right away and you'll be making money right away. So those guaranteed jobs, we have several of our officer communities that we fall into right there. What uh, the colonel was just talking about with our executive officer was surely a surface warfare officer. Um, that's the kind of job that they do when they get to that level in their career. We also have pilots, naval flight officers, submariners, and then our uh, spec war stuff, um, special warfare officers and EOD. So these are all highly demanding and challenging career paths, uh, but they are also very rewarding. So we also offer our nurse corps scholarship. Uh, if you go on to the webpage, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up the link here in a minute, uh, you can look at our list of 166 schools and out of those, any of them that have a little parentheses with an RN mark on it, are ones that have a Navy Nurse Corps option. You can apply to those schools and get accepted to our program. And it's just like the other program, we're gonna pay for everything. The only difference is 
there aren't as many schools to apply for. All right, so what are we looking for? A 550 on your verbal, 540 on your math, 22 on your English, and 21 on your math. Um, that's our minimum. Obviously, we want you to be competitive, so we include what competitive looks like. So 1300 and a 55 uh, if you want to be competitive for it. Now, that's there isn't just one thing that's going to push you over or close the door on you. This is just one part of it. Uh, I know that in California, it's been very difficult to take the SAT and ACT. Uh, the Navy also recognizes that. They put out a waiver last year um, excusing our students from taking it. We don't know if that's going to be the case this year. So I would say press on as if it's not uh, and expect somewhat of a return to normalcy for the program. So try to schedule your test and take your test. If you don't get a passing score, you don't get a competitive score, try to retake it because we can take all, as long as it's within the last two years, we can accept it for your application, even after you submit. So let's say you took it last year, you didn't do great. It's hard to schedule one this year. We can submit with the old one, then you take a new one. We can add that as an addendum. All right, so the big question, uh, what do you owe, right? Well, if you get online to the website, fill out the application, write the essays, press submit, you owe us absolutely nothing. It doesn't hurt you at all. You can turn it down. You can tell me you're no longer interested. I'll remove you from my, my phone roster and I'll stop contacting you. Um, if you complete the full application and you get accepted into the program, you still don't owe anything. Um, you can turn it down right there on the spot. Let's say you get accepted into Annapolis to the Naval Academy. We're going to wish you well and, and say thank you, you know, and, and good luck. Um, let's say that you get accepted into the program. Uh, you execute the scholarship. You decide that you're going to use it. You have up to a year to turn it down, meaning that you can go to college for free. And as long as you uh, decline the scholarship before the first day of your sophomore year, it's completely free, you owe us nothing. No enlisted time, no monetary paybacks. Um, that's just free money for you to go to college. So you have the option to try it out and see if the NROTC lifestyle is gonna fit for you at college. So this is our website, but I found that this is much easier. QR code, you can scan it. It'll take you directly to the webpage. The webpage has all the information that I'm giving here, plus a lot more. Um, you can't start your application now because our application season doesn't begin until April 1st, but uh, it will you know, bookmark the page and then come back uh, April 1 and start filling it out. All right, so what do you have to do to get this scholarship? So the items that are highlighted in yellow are the only things that you have to do, right? Submit the online application, which is a history of your academic performance, the clubs and stuff you're involved in, and three essays. Uh, give me your ACT or SAT scores. You don't have to give me the expensive one. We'll take a, a printed off one because we don't want to make you guys pay money. Um, you're going to have to complete an officer interview, which we will coordinate for you once your application is turned in. Uh, you can give us a resume. It's optional, but we definitely recommend it because it's another chance for you to speak to the board as to what you're bringing to the table. And then you do your applicant fitness assessment, which is two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a one-mile run. There are no disqualifying scores for your applicant fitness assessment. So whatever your fitness level is, we will take that application. Now, as always, if you can improve on it, you know, you should because it's going to make you more competitive. But that's not going to be a thing that disqualifies you because we can teach fitness. Uh, frequently asked questions. How long do you serve? So four years for nurses and five years for all the other designators. Um, your monthly salary in the Navy, an ensign in San Diego with dependents, $6,700. Uh, it's hard. I'm not going to say it's not possible for you to find a job whenever you graduate college where you're immediately going to be making $6,700, but there aren't a whole lot of them, and they're definitely not guaranteed. You have the ability to guarantee yourself that income, and you're not paying back student loans because we already paid for that for you. All right, so on the application, do you have to apply for the colleges you choose? Yes, absolutely, you have to. If you don't apply for the colleges and you get accepted for the scholarship, you don't have anywhere to spend the money because you're not getting to the, you're not getting into those schools. So apply for the colleges you put on your application. Uh, what happens if I don't get accepted to the school I was awarded the scholarship for? Again, this is why we say apply for all five, right? If you apply for five of them, then we're gonna be able to hopefully allow you to spend that money at one of the other schools. All right. 
I uh, haven't taken my SAT, ACT, should I wait? No, you should start so that you can put in good quality essays so you get good letters of recommendation so you have the most complete package. Um, if you start early and I only have 10 people on my roster, I can devote one tenth of my time to you. Uh, if you start at the end of the cycle and I have 100 people on my roster, um, you, you can do that math, right? So uh, if you start early, it allows us to help you put together a better package. You get more looks at the board. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Can I schedule an interview with the NROTC unit out of state? That's an absolute yes. Uh, we've coordinated them all over the country and we will continue to do so. So this is another QR code to go to our, uh, our other survey about the presentation. Um, Seems you've in spoke to it at length, so I'm going to I'm going to skip through it, but please help us out and let us know what we can do to make the presentations better because we want to bring you guys relevant information. If there's specific questions we're not answering, uh, then by all means, let us know so that we can try and come back next time with a better product. Alright, so another program, I don't run this program, but I want to let you know about it because I think it's a great thing. Um, the NPP or Naval Preparatory Program, it's Another way for you to get a full ride scholarship, uh, it's only with certain institutions, which I'll list right here. So all of these schools are part of the MPP program. Um, you have to apply to the school, get accepted, and then link up with the Naval Science Unit that's there. And you, it's individually run by the schools, but they basically hook you up with tutors um, and other people to help you bring your academics up. And then you apply for the two and three year scholarships that are available uh, with the local NROTC unit. These are good schools. This is a new program. It's only about two years old. Um, I, I highly recommend go to our website, look it up, uh, and then start researching the schools that you uh, that you want to get into. So our contact information. This is our team. We have one more who I will add to the slideshow, but um, she's not on there right now. All of us, our whole job is to help get you across the line with your application. We are your advocates. We want you to do well. Um, we deal with a huge geographical area, and we always want to see as much success across the board as we can. As of last year, we had a 50% acceptance rate. So that's 50% of our, our people that applied, which um, we had about 170, 75 apply this last cycle, we're still awaiting results on that, but we expect it to also be around 50% acceptance rate. So it's definitely an opportunity. Um, and let me move through this. I'm gonna stop sharing real quick. So for you juniors and seniors, if you're serious about this, reach out to us early so that we can try and build you the best package possible so we can get your application in. For you freshmen and sophomore, if you're serious about this, um, Take the hard classes, get the good grades, be involved in leadership positions in your school uh, and, and your organizations that you have there. Um, so you build the best package. And then you can also reach out to us. I, I, I'm not gonna not talk to you because you're a freshman. Um, I'm happy to have that conversation to let you know what you need to do to secure this uh, kind of amazing opportunity. You know, The chance for you to graduate with a four-year degree from a good school, move into a guaranteed job and serve your country. Um, I, I absolutely want to see that happen. So 